Hi, it's Kip K back with another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. I've got this little antique box here, and uh, it was passed down uh, through the family, and I ended up with it, but it's a secret box. You have to know exactly how to open it in order to get to what's inside. Well, there's a lot of these stash box projects on the internet, but there's a very cool one in Make Volume 20. It's called the Unibox. Let's make it. The Unibox in Make Volume 20 is by Claudio Bernardini. All you really need to build the Unibox is some hardwood. I chose some red oak because that was the best wood I could find, a bolt, and a small wooden dowel. You can download the PDF and the plans for this project at the link on this video. Since there really aren't any dimensions on the plans, I used Google SketchUp because there's a SketchUp file at the download link, and then I used a little tape measure to come up with all of the dimensions for the Unibox. We'll start by measuring out all of our pieces and then cutting them out. Don't forget to use safety glasses and gloves if you'd like. I used a bandsaw because that was the easiest and best way to make these small cuts in this hardwood. Once all the pieces are cut out, then it's time to make the notches, and those are a little bit more difficult, so you have to be a little creative with your bandsaw, or you could probably use a very sharp handsaw, but I didn't have one of those. So all the notches are cut out in the wood, and now it's time to drill one hole for the bolt, which will go through the top, and then we'll piece everything together just to see how everything fits. You may have to make some minor cuts or some minor sanding or grinding on some of the edges. That's just to get everything to fit nice and tight. If you're happy the way the pieces fit, it's time to glue the four sides to the bottom using just some wood glue. Well, all the pieces were cut out and amazingly they fit together. Now, I'm not a master woodworker. That's why I said amazingly because I wasn't sure how all these small cuts would uh, all fit together and how well I would do. And there are some gaps. Not sure if you can see them or not, but there are a few gaps that I really don't like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this with some plastic wood, do a little bit more sanding to it, and then the last few steps are to assemble the top, the bolt, and the little pin and see how our unibox works. After taking another look at the bolt I got, I decided a wooden dowel would be much better because I could run it straight down and then flush with the top. The three small blocks that were cut out are glued together and put in the corner, and then the dowel is tapped in place, and then a slot needs to be cut in one of the pieces. So to do that, I just drilled a bunch of holes, used a rough handsaw that I had, and then filed down the edges. Okay, we're almost done. One more small hole, and this is for the very tiny dowel, which will be kind of the secret dowel you need to remove to open the box. And after some more sanding, I was pretty happy with the way this box turned out. So it's time to add some stain. And our Unibox is done. And here's the secret to opening up the Unibox. The small dowel must be removed, and if you'd leave it just a little bit up, your fingernail can grab it and remove it. Then the top piece will pivot, the piece below it will slide in the groove, and then everything will pivot out of the way, so you could get to the contents in the Unibox. So that's how to make a keyless, secret wooden compartment, the Unibox. We'll see you next time with another weekend project.